Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Taruk81 here with another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the M1 GMK Godzilla, Godzilla 2001. Absolutely outstanding figures right here. Very epic, very righteous. Uh, some of my favorites, in fact, uh, the GMK you know, sculpt or the suit is, is one of my favorites. Godzilla 2001 GMK. Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Very awesome movie. I've said it before. I'm telling you guys again. Check it out. You know, it's just one of the most dominating Godzillas we've ever seen. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to start this off. So, we'll start this off with this guy right here. These figures are about 10 and a half inches tall. They're bigger than Marmot. You know what I'm saying? As far as for this sculpt, this guy's very... Very impressive if you, if you have one of these guys in your collection. It's very standoffish It does look a, a little more on the cartoony side uh, But then again, like I said all these different makes all these different producers They they make things they sculpt things in their own different way, you know, so you're not gonna expect the same thing from all of them That's 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 part of the beauty of this is that each Maker has its own way of interpreting the sculpt and M1 came through very very awesome with this set now these guys are a set um not with each other but they come with a mothra there's a barogon and there's also a king Ghidorah, which are extremely hard to find i know i've tried and it it blows man it, it blows but eventually i'll get them but this gmk m1 um has been repeatedly releasing them there's uh, different makers that bring them back out, you know, vinyl wars and whatnot. Now, to go over this guy a little more here, he's got one, two, three, four, and five points of articulation. Again, I don't see these as points of articulation. I'm not going to tell you what that is because I've said it enough times. Um, this guy right here is the Toho Fan Club exclusive or the Lucky Bag. Um, got that piece of information from Dan Miller. And uh, Club Tokyo, love you, Dan Miller. You know Club Tokyo's the righteous. Check it out if you need any information on any other figures. Now this guy's cast in a brown vinyl. He's got silver highlights. Very, very reclusive. Just very, just it's not super. How can I put it? Um, they didn't spray it for too long. They just gave it real gentle sprays. Uh, more most pronounced here in the chest for this guy and then the feet that's one thing that I love about the GMK is how epic the feet are and in in the Marmot in um, M1 Sun Guts you know and you know X plus the feet is beautifully represented for all of them and that doesn't leave these guys out you know and you know back shot right here now this guy again like I said he's brown vinyl He's got a blue spray on the dorsal plates with a little bit of silver. Silver sprays on the feet for the nails, the hands, the chest. And then in his mouth, he's got this red, orangey feel to it. Then he's got the soulless white eyes, silver teeth. Very awesome. M M1 does a great job when it comes to painting the teeth, the features like that very awesome very epic no bleed just very epic very awesome <clears throat> now this next guy i got from my brother from another mother jeffrey Mulek. i know you guys have heard me mention his name a couple of times you know I, he's, he's a great friend um you know we've been able to help each other out in our collecting and jeffrey's one of those outstanding cats that i was able to meet on these collectors groups that i've mentioned you know the godzilla group the Godzilla Collectors Group, um, Super Happy Awesome Toys, uh, the Hedora Fanatics Club, you know, check these things out, they're super epic, super righteous, man, you meet a lot of great people. Now, this one is the HMV version, the first one, the brown one, I don't have the bag and header for, unfortunately, I only have bag and header for two of these, and this guy right here, that's what this looks like. Very epic, you got GMK, Godzilla there tearing it up, Mothra and King Ghidorah, 
Same in the back. Very epic, very awesome. Love these headers, man. And there you go, the HMV. This guy was released in back in 2002, as well as this guy. These guys are, they got a little bit of age to them. This guy's cast in this, um, I wanna say uh, greenish, bluish vinyl, like a teal, I guess. He's got the same subtle highlights in silver that this dude's got. Same type of paint in the mouth, you know, that, that red, orangey type. And then uh, silver for the teeth, soulless eyes, and the same paint for the dorsal spines, the blue with silver. Very epic. Very, very epic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring out one of the most uh, personable ones, in my opinion. I mean, beautifully, beautifully painted. This guy right here is epic. Just awesome the way they painted this guy this with this metallic blue oh my god and then his the difference with him he's got the gold spikes a little bit of silver he's got silver on his feet for the claws you know nails same here in the hands but just epic 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 very nice now I got this guy from um, Toy Tokyo that's where I was able to order this guy from. He was one of the priciest ones, you know. Um, but hey, what can I say? There's two new. There's a new one coming out for the Super Festival 77, I believe. Epic. I think that's a glow in the dark. Very nice. And there's a Paragon that comes out with it. Very nice. Very epic. Now again, this guy is the same brown vinyl as that one, as you can see. Same brown vinyl. The differences are in the paint. Like I said, he's got that blue with the gold, silver. Same thing for the teeth and mouth and the solar size. No difference there. Very, very epic. A lot softer details than uh, than you have on the on the marmot sculpt, but everything is there. It's just like I said in Maru-san's interpretation. You know the way they interpret this sculpt. Okay, now we got that guy out of the way. I'll get this guy out for you guys. This guy is the Vinyl Wars. Very eye-catching, very appealing. I love this thing. This thing is just absolutely amazing. Um, I was able to get this guy. I got both this guy and this one here on eBay. Fished them out for pretty good prices and uh, you know made them part of the family. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't have the header for this, a bagger header. Oh, this is the Godzilla Vinyl Wars. This guy's done in this milky, almost yeah, like a like a milky white, off white. Very nice, very epic. He's got these metallic light blue highlights on him. Silver spray on the dorsal plates. I love the splash that he's got here in the chest. This orange splash, very epic, very nice. Brings him out. Silver on the nails. Silver on the nails here. Again. Everything else is pretty much the same, but this guy is just very standoffish. Um, he, yeah. You want you look at the collection, and because of that color vinyl and the, the spray application, it just it's an extreme eye catcher. Very epic, very awesome. Now, to give you guys a little bit of a comparison here, I brought out my marmot, which I just recently reviewed. As you can see, there are differences. There's a huge difference in the size. You know, this guy this guy stands about an inch taller than you have here. But when you look at the details, uh, Marmot has soft details, but sharper still than M1. Again, every, every make has their own interpretation, their own style of looking at things, the way they, they bring it out. And M1 is just epic 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 you know marmot is my favorite line i can i can pretty much say that out loud but <clears throat> that doesn't take away from the fact that i love all these other makes maro san you know m1 sun guts all of them they're all spectacular and um it's nice to have you know a, a, some a contrast in your collection you know when it comes especially coming with sufubi 
just different makes and, and, and there's big differences. I mean, look at this. I'll give you a little side profile. You see that? It's a lot more realistic looking, even though this guy is stylized. They're both stylized. There's more realism in the Marmot sculpt than there is in the M1. You see that? But that's part of the M1's charm. That's that's part of what keeps you there, you know what I mean? Okay. Big differences there. I love this curve here, you know, for the tail on the Marmot. But when you are putting them away in your shells, this type of tail, you know, straight out, it makes it easier, you know, gives you more space, just more flexibility as far as how you put them. But there you go. Again, M1 and Marmot. Epic. Awesome. Okay. Get this guy out of the way for you guys. And now, I'm going to take you guys in for our close-up view. So, let me grab this guy right here. Yeah. I'll be bringing some more reviews as always. You know what I mean? Let me know whatever it is that you guys want to see. You know, if there's anything you guys are interested in. If it's not in my collection, I'll try to see if I can grab it. You know, as long as it's something that I like. But um, again, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know what you guys want to see, you know, in the future from this channel. And I'll try my best to get it for you. Give you guys a nice little shot right there. Very nice. I completely, completely love these figures. They're super epic. And if you guys are on the fritz about buying one of these, handle it. Do it. I recommend it. You won't, you won't regret it. All right, guys. For now, enjoy yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your figures, your kaiju. Keep the kaiju faith alive. I'll see you guys on the next review. Bye-bye.